Okay, guys, the next thing we're going to take a look at is uh, Jayco's flagship in their gas lineup of motorhomes. This is the Jayco Greyhawk, uh, Greyhawk. This is the Precept Prestige Model 36.8. Take a look at this beautiful animal as it comes pulling in here. Beautiful, full paint job. Mirrors. Look at the size of this awning up here on this coach. You're talking about giving you some room outside. And storage, my goodness. If you want outside storage, you need to take all your play toys with you. This will do it. Look on the top, guys. It goes all the way across. You got fishing poles, tables. We got you covered here. Got a... One thing that sets Jayco apart from some of the other ones is on their outside TVs, you've also got a 110 electrical plug, and you got radios out here controlled too. And that gives them, this is all gel coat, guys. If you run your hands over this, you're not going to fit a lot of paint lines. This is a full body paint unit. As we work back here, here's your propane tank. More storage. And guys, we're just on the outside of this little animal right here, but I'm telling you, if you're looking for a great value in a Class A gas motor home, the Jayco Preset Prestige is a must-see kind of motor home. Roof rack and ladder. You got your furnaces up high. This coach is on a 50-amp service. Dual ACs. You'll have a 15,000 with a heat pump up top in the front and a 13.5 in the back. Look how clean this is right here. Sewer hose hooks up, drops right down, water filter for the entire units back here. Uh, that a macerator pump that's already built onto this one. I didn't even know that was there, so we're all learning together. That one has the macerator pump, really makes it nice. Come right up here, more storage, and there's your gray and black tank over on the right where you dump those valves. If you also notice on this coach, guys, Alco aluminum wheels, 22 and a half inch Michelin tires. When you step up to the pre uh, preset prestige line, you're, we're not going to cheat you anywhere. Like I said, this is Jayco's flagship in their Class A gas motorhomes. Look how pretty this thing is. Full paint. Look at the windows. How they're recessed in there. This coach is on the brand new V8 engine. Uh, the V10 has been discontinued. The new V8 has more horsepower and more torque and is supposed to perform better than the V10. So far, all the customers that I've sold personally have called me back and have raved about how great this new V8 is. And I like that. The backup cameras, side view cameras, your side view cameras are integrated into the mirrors now. Instead of down low, it cuts off a lot of road glare. You do have the bigger generator on this because you got the bigger ACs. Look at this windshield up front. You're talking about a panoramic view when you're sitting there driving down the road. This coach has got about everything in it that you're going to want. You've even got a power door on him. So now that we've looked at the outside of this Prestige, let's walk inside. Let me show you some of the features that you're going to be getting when you do this. Hey, folks, make sure to give us a like and subscribe below for content just like this. And make sure to check back here often for a lot more content. Let's get back to the video. Look who's here with us. We've got Anthony in here with us. We're going to walk through this together with you. Yeah, I like to do a lot of different things here at the show, and I guess I'm going to follow race around and learn a few things. Guys, the one thing that to me that really sets this unit apart, there are so many people that when they call in, you know, Anthony, the TV's either in the front or it's over here in the side, yeah. and you're sitting on the couch, and you're either having to look left or you're having to look right. Well, on this Prestige model, they got the televator above the booth, so you can sit right across here where you've got the couch, and you've got a nice recliner 
and you're looking straight across at the TV. What do you think of that? And that this is a great entertaining area. You really do have a lot of seating. Uh, you got a lot of seating for different folks. Uh, assume this makes into a bed. You know, yeah, it gives does. You, you know, you've got nice sleeping space in this too. I, I noticed it has the uh, the overhead bunk. I think we talked a little bit about that earlier, uh, but that is a really nice thing to have because uh, you don't have to sacrifice any of your living space uh, for the extra space of a bed if you need that every once in a while. And you know the other thing, Anthony, that really caught me how what Jayco has done to even think about a little bit more. A lot of people go, man, you know that's great, but I got little kids, and how can they roll off? Oh, look at that. Right underneath there, guys, you've got the bumper pads for the each side for the front and the back. You've got your extension ladder for the kids to crawl up, and then it's got the little table and a pole that goes under between the driver and passenger seat. So when you put that bar up here, they don't have to worry about it. You put it on that side, you don't have to worry about it. So it really makes it for, you can use it for a multi-use. You can be somebody like me or a two-year-old kid you can put up here. I think you could also use that for storage, too. You know, oh, if, yeah. you if you don't need it for a bed, pull that mattress out and stick some suitcases or storage up there. No one ever says this RV has too much storage. so You can never have enough no, storage. Man, never. I always like it when people say, well, how much weight can I carry? And they come in here and they buy the motor home and they start unloading their other one and they end up taking four loads of stuff to our dumpster <laughs> because they didn't realize they had that much people, in there. People do that. All. I've seen that many, many times. <laughs> many times. I'm Take, really surprised at just how spacious this thing is. It really feels like a, almost like a diesel motorhome when I'm inside because it's so open up. It feels more like an apartment feel yeah, yeah. than it does an RV. Uh, just the features of it. Right up here next to Anthony, you got the Furion 40-inch fireplace. And guys, you're not going to believe this, but when we had that cold spell, Anthony, that came through here, in our lot, we were trying to winterize and protect everything. Well, every unit on our lot, which was not many, uh, we cut all the fireplaces on because we had them plugged in. Mm -hmm. We put it on the high, and when it was 12 degrees outside, with that thing running all constantly, it maintained these coaches at around 50, 55 oh, degrees. Wow just off the fireplace. And that's that, pretty impressive. And that doesn't use propane. No, it's you fully know, that's electric. What that, that's, what, that's really where uh, where it's going to save you because if you've ever had an RV before, you know that furnace will use a tremendous amount of propane, especially in the cold weather. So having that electrical heat option is a, is a great thing to have. Yeah, in the right scenario on a 50-degree day with your heat pump up front because it's a central duct system and this fireplace, you'd never have to really cut no, on your propane. Never, never use that furnace. No. But uh, you've got that. The dinette, of course, makes a bed. I like that they've got the solid surface on the dinette top, too. They've covered, carried it all the way through that part of the coach. When you do the Prestige model, that's what you're getting. Now, they also offer a precept, which is a step below this, and you can still get in body paint and everything, but what you lose is the stuff like Anthony's pointing out, like the solid surface countertops and a bunch of other features that you lose when you go to the regular uh, precept. But the Prestige is a must deal. What's really cool about it, you got 110 outlets on either side of the booth with USB ports. And I'm not set that technical savvy like what? Anthony and everybody what? else. Now, but race. I don't believe uh, that one bit. I still have to have my son come over and program my phone for me, but at least you right there, you can plug it in. <laughs> Anthony can tell you all about that kind uh, of stuff. I've, I've, I've fixed Race's email more times than I can count. If you only knew that was the truth, guys. Uh, as we're going to step back here, I'll get me and Anthony to come back here because there's a lot of more things that are really exciting. Jayco's also stepped up the level on their Prestige. Presti uh, prestige. They've also upgraded Furion Convection Microwave, which is stainless steel. Look at all the cabinet space that you have up here for above the sink. Those are nice cabinets, too. It's deep. You got the two burner. This one's got kind of the farmhouse sink. Instead of having one or two separate, you got the bigger one. People go, well, I don't know about that. I'll tell you what's really cool about this. Say you take off and you're traveling. You can take a crock pot. You can set it right down in here, plug it in, be cooking your meal for the six hours that you're going to be driving. Yeah. And when you get there, your meal's ready. You don't have to do anything. I also, sure. also think that one sink is a, is a much better way to do dishes. If you're doing dishes in your RV in those two little dinky sinks, you're never going to fit in your dishes oh, in the no, sink definitely. because there's no room. But that one big sink gives you the ability to wash those pots and pans and those other things you take with you while you're on, on the road. They've really thought about everything and how to make it more user-friendly. Yeah. I mean, they actually listen to feedback from customers and us when we talk to them and things. 
Well, more people are spending longer and longer time on the road, too. So I, I think especially these days, people need the ability to spend two weeks, three weeks, two months, three months in their RV and be comfortable the whole time. Well, especially during this COVID situation this year when uh, all the kids were out of school. Uh, I know even where I live, most of my neighbors, uh, I look out there and they're at home every day because they wasn't at work. They were doing all their work uh, from the house. Mm -hmm. Well, they're buying motorhomes and stuff because they can go do their work wherever they're at, the yeah. lake, the mountains, the ocean, wherever, and they can do it. So there's so many more functions that a motorhome is being used for nowadays than what it was even a year ago. Yeah. So it's really cool. But take a good look at this. I love the way they've redesigned this where you've got the two burners here and then you've got the one going the other way there. Yeah, it, it looks very residential too. It really does, doesn't it? It gives it that home feel. Yeah. Here's something you don't see in a gas motorhome anymore, an actual oven. I tell you, I love that too because, you know, it's not everybody wants a gas oven, but somebody who does want a gas oven, that is an option, that is an awesome thing to have because most of those gas ovens, you, you can barely fit a pot pie in there, oh, no, much it, less anything else you want to cook. So well, it's, it, it gives you a great option. What's really cool is you got the convection up here and you got this. So mm -hmm. you can use it's the best of all yeah. worlds. Uh, as we walk back here a little bit, uh, I'm going to show you the bathroom before I get into anything else because, as you can tell, with my size, bathrooms are very important. <laughs> This thing has got a giant shower in here. Yeah, that's a big shower. I mean, it's even got a place you can sit down back here. You got the nice shower head. It's got the skylight. If you're real tall, you can stand up into it. I'm about 5'11", but you could be 6'5", and still fit in here easy. These seedlings are very tall, which, again, makes your motorhome feel a lot bigger when you're inside. Yeah, it's a 7-foot ceiling on the inside. And the other thing is where the toilet is, you're not crammed in there where your knees are up underneath your chin. It's a little wider. It also gives you something to grab hold of that you can help pull yourself up. And solid service countertop, yeah. even in the bathroom. Hard doors, too. Yes, sir. You know, not, not an accordion door. Take a look at the new uh, fridge for the, this year on this. You've got the ice. You can put your type in there, your lights, all that. They The biggest thing about these residential refrigerators the problem that they've always had is these doors coming open in yeah, transit. Yeah, yeah, you'll have you'll have a milk mess when you get to where you're going. <laughs> so now what they've done, they've integrated the lock. The lock's right here on the side where you can lock it in. That's a lot of refrigeration space. Again, going back to what we were saying earlier about people spending longer time on the road in their RV, having that big refrigerator gives you the flexibility to do that, to to not have to stop at the at the grocery store every three days yeah you know, i mean you can actually fill fill your refrigerator up for a week that's a good point you yeah. can actually fill it up before you leave and not yeah. have to worry about it on a week's trip yep i mean you're you're there to camp and vacation and have fun this will do it anthony already pointed out the doors and stuff to you as we're going back you've got two nice and race i don't know if you mentioned this outside but this is a Full wall slide, correct? This slide yeah, runs this, from here all the way to the front of the coach. This one has three slides. You got the full wall slide on the passenger side that goes from the entry door almost to the back of the coach. And on the driver's side, you have the bed slide and then the living room slide. But Anthony and I are both standing in here in the bedroom. Nice king size bed. And guys, look, this is roomy. I yeah, mean, you, you can I mean, look, actually you, get around. That's this is uh, I know Race has been selling these things for a long time, and when I was in sales, boy. Not being able to make the bed, that is a big, big complaint people would have. But, I mean, you've got plenty of space to get around both sides of this bed, make the bed, not feel like it's right up next to you. Plus, you've got nightstands on both sides. And, and a lot of times, again, you don't get nightstands when you get king-size beds. A lot of other That's coaches correct. will delete the, the nightstands when you go king-size, but you still get that. There's one major point that i got to point out while Anthony's standing right there. About 80% of the motorhomes, when you're doing this, there's a big hump when Andy, where Anthony's standing at. That's a flat floor. Mm -hmm. So the wife can get around, or you can. It's real easy to get around to that side of the bed. Yeah, I've, tri I've tripped over those humps yeah. many times trying to show people RVs and fall flat on my Pop face. Pop that open while you're there, yeah. Anthony. Let's show them the closet. Uh, let's see, put, put it this way. Now, that's closet. You've also got a 110 outlet in there also. Race, I'm going, to assume, I'm going to assume this is also prep for washer dryer. Yes, it's. Uh, oh, we may already have them in there. No, it's prep for them. It's yeah. prep for it. But I'll tell you something, guys. I'm not a big proponent of the washer dryers because most of the times when you get to a campground, I mean, if it's in it, that's great. 
But you get to a campground, there's always a nice facility usually that you can go do it. Well, the washer and dryers are really not designed to do sheets, towels, blue mm -hmm. jeans, like that. So build up your stuff. Me and my wife can go there and knock out five loads an hour and be done. Look at how much more storage it gives you, especially if you're talking about you got three kids or a mom and dad that go with you all the time. You need hanging space. You've got another closet here. And look what you gained down here. And I, I agree with Race 100%. You know, uh, and that, that doesn't happen very <laughs> no. often. But, yeah, I, I, uh, I'm also not a big uh, – uh, a big salesperson for the uh, washer dryer, like like Ray says, nice if you have it, but boy, they they are not like what you expect if you've never had one. Yeah, you know, it's not, not a house, house washer dryer. You you don't have you don't generate the heat. There again, you've got the TV back here in the back, great storage, and I hate to keep pointing this out to you, but guys, solid surface even, all the way through. Even, even on the nightstands, I was talking about solid surface there too. And then this makes it nice. You got your TV right here. If I can do it. It's right, it's right there behind me. TV lifts up. 110 outlet. You can sit here and put more equipment back here. It's just a yeah. little bit of hidden storage. It's a nice place to put a little safe or something. Yeah. A lot of people don't think about raising up a TV. LED lighting. Duct air conditioner. Now, one thing that's a little bit different on the Jayco lines of motorhomes, which you'll see like on my Tiffin lines, we have the two air conditioners, but you're not going to see the air conditioner facing hanging down good thing bad thing kind of depends on what you're looking at during a hot summer you can open these up on the side dump a lot of cool air and that's on called that, quick yeah. cool it's going to take about 75 percent of the air from the air conditioner dump it straight down especially over the bedroom my wife likes it about 40 degrees when she sleeps at night so having that quick cool dump right over the bed can make things really nice oh i'm night. telling you i don't care if it's 100 degrees outside if i shut this door and i cut this on low or on high and on low temperature, and open that up, I can make you get underneath the blankets. <laughs> yeah, it'll, 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 cool, it'll freeze you out here. But this is the Jayco Preset Prestige. As you're walking through here, look at the floor, guys. They take Jayco's taking a lot of detail to this motorhome. I know a lot of people used to sit back here and ask me, say, well, you know, that's a Jayco. Yeah, you're right, guys. This is a Jayco. This is a Preset Prestige. This is their top of the line. They make other lines. They make the Elante, if you don't want to spend this much. The Precept. They make anything from about a $67,000 Class C all the way up to the Embark with about $259,000 yeah. in the diesel line. So, I mean, Jayco's come full circle, guys. This is not the Jayco of 15 years ago. This is the Jayco of today. If you're looking for a Class A motorhome, I'll put this up against anything you want to come out and see. You got the two-year warranty on the coach, two-year, 24,000 miles. And the thing that sets this apart when I say that, that microwave, it's covered for two years or 24,000 miles. That oven is. There's a lot of manufacturers out there that tout a two-year warranty, but it's only on what they build, like compartment doors, latches. This covers all your major components. No, it doesn't cover light bulbs, tires, batteries, like that, but your generator. Leveling jacks, slide-out motors, all that's covered for the first two years or 24,000 miles and the three-year structure warranty, full-body paint. Guys, if you're looking for a Class A gas motor home, you need to come to Vought RV and check out the Jayco Precept 36H Prestige. What do you think, Anthony? I mean, I love it. I absolutely love it. Like like Ray said, I, I've been, you know, Ray and I have been doing this for a long time. And uh, I've seen a lot of different motorhomes come and go. We, we've had a lot of different brands on the dealership. There's a reason we're very specific about the brands we carry. Because, uh, you know, we, 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 want to, uh, we want to make lifetime customers out of folks. Uh, we don't want to make enemies. And, and I've sold plenty of products that, uh, that make more enemies than, than, than friends. Um, but, yeah, the, the Jayco has really come a long way just in their motorhome. Well, in everything. But their motorhome line has really come a long way. I think we've got something really cool to see next. We right? do. I want to point out two more things on this. One thing is that what I really like about it, I like things that are user-friendly. This coach is user-friendly. Plus, I love the fact that if we need parts, Jayco will get us parts about as quick as any other manufacturer we've got to get parts shipped to us overnight if they have to. They're great for us as a service and dealership. Both of these two seats turn all the way around, makes part of your living area. Uh, guys, I've spent about enough time on this. Uh, I'm going to show you something that really floats my boat up next. Yeah, we don't see very many of these things. No. We're seeing next, yeah. But we're going to take a look at it, and we'll see you in just a second. Thanks for watching our video. 
If you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. Or if you have any suggestions on content you'd like to see, we'd love to hear about that. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks again from Vod RV.